empower me. Wow. Wisdom over wounds. July 19th. The submission of the believer. You call me teacher and Lord. And you say, well, for so I am. John 13, verse 13. Our Lord never insists on having authority over us. He never says, you will submit to me. No, he leaves us perfectly free to choose. So free, in fact, that we can spit in his face or we can put him to death as others have done. And yet, he will never say a word. That is what free will is. But once his life has been created in me through his redemption, I instantly recognize his right to absolute authority over me. It is a complete and effective domination in which I acknowledge that you are worthy, O Lord. Revelation 4 and 11. It is simply the unworthiness within me that refuses to bow down or to submit to one who is worthy. When I meet someone who is more holy than myself, and I don't recognize his worthiness nor obey his instructions for me, it is a sign of my own unworthiness being revealed. God teaches us by using these people who are a little better than we are, not better intellectually, but more holy. And he continues to do so until we willingly submit. Then the whole attitude of our life is one of obedience to him. If our Lord insisted on our obedience, we would simply become a taskmaster and cease to have any real authority, or I should say, he would simply become a taskmaster and cease to have any real authority. He never insists on obedience, but when we truly see him, we will instantly obey him. Then he is easily Lord of our life. And we live in adoration of him from morning till night. The level of my growth in grace is revealed by the way I look at obedience. We should have a much higher view of the word obedience, rescuing it from the mire of the world. Obedience is only possible between people who are equals in their relationship to each other. Like the relationship between father and son, not that between master and servant. Jesus showed his relationship by saying, I and my father are one. John 10, verse 30. Though he was a son, yet he learned obedience by the things which he suffered. Hebrews 5, verse 8. 
the Son was obedient as our Redeemer because He was the Son, not in order to become God's Son. The Submission of the Believer Father, I submit myself to you. Empower me, Lord, to be able to do so. Father, today, I thank you because I sense you are empowering me to step into a realm of obedience that in the natural has been hard to submit to, but because of your divine affection, because of your divine grace, because of your divine direction, I'm finding more and more the ability to say, Lord, I surrender me and I yield me to you who has full authority over me. I am your servant because I choose to be, not because I have to be. I have no fear of hell and what lies before me in order to obey you. I don't feel you will punish me for being disobedient. I understand even more so now that my own doing is what causes my punishment. My own straying into areas where you have warned me that warning comes before destruction and a haughty spirit or a prideful spirit before a fall. We have to recognize that when we fall, it is not God's fault. It is usually the fault of our flesh. Father, in surrendering to you, I surrender my flesh. I surrender my fleshly thinking. I surrender my will and my desire to do things contrary to your will which basically is to save me and to rescue me in the time of trouble. And in the time of need, you will always be there for your children. Father, empower us to see these things. Open up our blinded eyes. Open up the closed ears and the clenched mouth that we might surrender to you and to your perfection. This day, I give you glory. This afternoon, I give you praise. This evening, I give you worship. You said in your word, let not the sun go down upon my wrath, my anger, my disobedience, my fighting, my murderings. Be in the midst, Lord. Empower your children today. We thank you because we believe that you are our teacher and our Lord. For so you are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen means let it be so. Or so let it be with me. God, you are so good. Again, wisdom over wounds. Wow. Came up in my spirit. And I'm sharing the fact that God 
will empower us. Remember today, walk in your worthiness in the Lord. This is Sister Barbara. God bless you. Just a simple word. Have a great day.